very much, and it's a pleasure to be here, especially with uh, Dr. Mohamed Pate. Um, we saw the president and focused on how do we support Nigerians at this time of need. Uh, we all know that things are very difficult for Nigerians outside. Everyone is struggling. I'm here myself on a quiet visit, so this was not really an official uh, WTO mission, but we were able to engage with Mr. President to talk about how, what are the kinds of programs uh, that we could, that could be put in place to make sure that the suffering of Nigerians are uh, being alleviated. And we had a really good conversation uh, on trying to look at community and grassroots programs that can be put in place to create jobs for young people, um, on trying to support women and children who are those who are bearing the brunt of some of the suffering uh, in the country. Um, we talked about how for the longer term, we need to look at investment opportunities that Nigeria can seize, including in the pharmaceutical uh, industry. Um, we also talked about the, what type of support the WTO, the World Trade Organization, uh, can bring. We are already working in Nigeria with women in particular who own small and medium enterprises to try to help them upgrade the quality of their products, whether it's in the agricultural area, in textiles, uh, and in other areas, so that they can sell more internationally. We're trying to help them with digital trade. The wave of the future is digital trade. So how do we train and power and give Nigerian women uh, and owners of small and medium enterprises support so they can trade more, create more jobs. That's what's needed now, helping Nigerians to alleviate the uh, difficult conditions that they are in. So that is what we discussed uh, with Mr. President. And as the Director General of the World Trade Organization, we are going to try to do the most we can to support Nigerians at this particular time.